Hey, so what's up, y'all? I'm back on here. Just want wanted to ask y'all a question. Um, you know, that maybe uh, get some people thinking. Imagine being paid in assets. Like, imagine you being paid if you if you work. You know, say your hourly pay is. Say you're making twenty dollars an hour. Imagine getting paid. Say 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 you working twenty dollars, working for twenty twenty dollars an hour, for, you know, like a regular eight hour shift. Imagine instead of getting paid, instead of getting paid, you know, dollars, you got paid five ounce or eight ounces of silver, eight out ou eight ounces of silver. You know, this is that's how we used to get paid. We used to get paid in assets, you know, things that had real value. Now we only get we we get paid in fiat currency, meaning that we'll always have to if we don't go up, like if, if we don't say, OK, this year I work for twenty dollars. Next year it's going to be, you know, thirty dollars or however that works. If we don't do that. You know, inflation eats up at us. So you making twenty dollars an hour today won't be it won't it won't be wor working for twenty dollars twenty dollars an hour today may be enough, you know, for some people. That's not really all that much, but just see where I'm going with this. Twenty year or ten years later, if you still 20, working for twenty dollars an hour won't cut it, but if we were getting paid in assets, so say you get an ounce of silver for every do, for every hour that you work, no matter no matter what time, no matter how much time passed, if you're getting paid that ounce of silver, it's always going to be the the buying power equivalent of what it is today. So meaning you won't like for a business owners, we say, say you own a business, you're a business owner, you own a business every year or every certain amount of time, you have to raise your prices because everything else goes up. Cost of cost of uh, living goes up. Uh, the cost of being the cost of whatever supplies goes up. You know, the cost of your time goes up. Now, if we start with a definite asset weight, like say whatever our goods or services, we charge we charge two grams of gold or we charge five grams of gold. Ten years from now, you can still stay at whatever how much gold you say say you charge say you charge two grams of gold for whatever sir whatever good or service you offer now five years from now you still can if if the you still can charge two or uh one or two grams of gold how whatever your number of assets you want to acquire for your goods or service you don't have to keep changing that because assets hold maintain buying power and they hedge against inflation so your prices won't necessarily go up because you are operating in s in an asset class um this might be this may be a little confusing i'm trying to think of a simple way to put it that's well i, I believe y'all smart y'all y'all will get that but basically being paid in assets or being paid in an asset class uh, like gold and silver, you can just measure how much you want to get paid in the weight, and that the same you can you can maintain being paid that same amount of weight over a long long periods of time. Versus if you're operating only in fiat currency, meaning you have to adjust, you have to keep adjusting uh, that number that your service. Uh, you you have to keep adjusting that fiat currency number, meaning meaning 
Like you work $20 an hour, you work for $20 an hour, meaning next year you have to, it has to be $25 an hour or $30 an hour. Then, you know, five years after that, it's $40. And it, increment, it, it goes up in increments that, uh, it goes up in increments that have to continue to go up to keep up with uh, by, uh, inflation. But if you set a asset number, like say you want to, like, again, like I was saying, you, you want to say, if you want to get paid eight ounces, uh, eight ounces of silver a day, you know, in place of being paid $20, like I would rather be paid or I imagine being paid in, in assets like ounces of silver, ounces of gold, I would that is much more appealing to me than than uh hold on we got this train going by but that's much more appealing to me than fiat currency once you once we all realize what fiat currency is then there's going to be a rush to you know real money gold and silver and also the the a newer digital currency which is a uh, cryptocurrency this is all going to we're, we're going to realize that the fiat currency system is just that, a fiat currency system. And the truth of the matter is that all fiat currencies go to zero. I don't, we have been operating on 2% of the buying power of the U.S. dollar. We've been operating on 2% of that. So it has lost 98% of its buying power that should shake you up that you should that that should make us really think about what's going on but again we're not taught to think about that type of stuff but um anyway i just want to say imagine you getting paid in uh assets like gold and silver versus fiat currency if you choose fiat currency over real money which is gold and silver that just means you don't know what real money is and you don't understand money. That's it. Because anybody who understand money uh, and knows what it is, you're going to always choose gold and silver over fiat currency. Uh, I would think so. If you want your, you want to maintain your wealth, uh, you can only maintain and build your wealth with assets. The, the more paper you have is the more opportunities you have or choices you have. You can choose to get assets or you can choose to get liabilities. And if you choose to not make a decision, you are choosing liabilities by default because uh, fiat currency is a liability until we turn it into an asset. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, just wanted to, wanted people to think about that. I, I don't know if it was maybe got kind of confusing because i don't know if i made that so clear it was clear in my head because it well i guess that's because it's my idea and i'm thinking about it in my head but i just wonder if how would that look for other people how would that look for you if you got paid in gold and silver like how many ounces of gold and silver would you want to uh be paid a day um i think it's good to just think in money think in like you don't want to like I don't like thinking in dollars. I like thinking about I like thinking in gold and silver and weights of gold and silver, like either an ounce of gold and silver, gram of uh, gold. I like thinking in in that way because then I'm always focused. I'm not focused on something that is always eluding me and always being uh, attacked, which is fiat currency. So, uh. Yeah, y'all be blessed and have that thought. Like, just think about it. Imagine you getting paid the equivalent of what you're getting paid, but it's in assets. And whenever you want to decide to get a fiat currency, you can liquidate your asset. Or you can borrow against your asset while still maintaining your asset and, and being able to pay for things you need to pay for. But, uh... Yeah, so y'all be blessed, and that's it.